Hi everyone, I'm the Foxed One and today I am going to be doing um, an unboxing of Ipsy. I'm only, uh, I so I get Ipsy and, well it's actually BoxyCharm because I get the next level up, I don't get the glam bags. And um, and so month of February is the Icon box and that's gonna be my last month because I've got so much stuff, I just, I don't need it anymore. But um, yeah, I've never done an unboxing and I've gotten like FabFitFun, I've gotten BoxyCharm, I've gotten, Oh gosh, I can't even think of the, all the other stuff that I've gotten. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, I love mystery boxes and I love, um, yeah, seeing what's in them. Although these ones aren't really mystery because you get to choose everything that's in them, but it's still fun. So I am going to open my Ipsy box. Oh, what month is this? This is for January uh, 2024. And they actually sent the... Um, so I get boost my box as well and I think the boost is what they're sending separately so and the tracking doesn't work so I have no idea when I'm gonna get it it'll be a that will be the surprise part of the whole box so let's see if I can open this without putting myself last time I did an unboxing I did the box on the screen and showed my address so I thought I better not do that again so here we go with that the ipsy the, there there it is and we'll open it up. It looks like something might have leaked or it was just outside in the wet. So uh, the one thing I really like about Ipsy is the way that their boxes fold and then it's really easy to recycle them. So I'm gonna just put that off to the side there, whatever. I like my crow better than Ipsy. So what do we got? We have got, oh yes, I got lots of perfume. I've been super into perfume lately. Um, I really like, Milk by Commodity. I love marshmallows. Um, I just I cannot get enough of the marshmallow smell. And so this one is Serene and it says um, top notes are fresh ozone, aloe vera, uh, fig, radiant rose, and then mid notes are dewy lilac blooms, freesia, and then base are water lily and watery musk and sandalwood. So it's kind of weird to do a perfume on the unboxing because you can't smell it, but uh, that's okay. You take my, my word for it. Um, let's just... Oh, that's nice. You know what it smells like? It smells like conditioner. It's... Honestly, it's not... You could probably spray yourself with this out of the shower. You know when you hug somebody after, like, and they've just gone, come out of the shower and they always smell so fresh well, that's exactly what this is honestly this is exactly what it smells like with their wet hair when you give them a hug oh it's nice <laughs> it's really nice and i just ate some of that okay awesome that was probably super attractive doing that on screen so anyways okay the next one is uh kate somerville goat milk moisturizing cleanser oh yes this is nice now i wonder if this was the stuff that had a little bit of the um i'm not sure if it had the little bit of the um you know, like the physical exfoliant in it. Um, I can't remember, but I, for some reason I thought it did. Maybe not. Um, anyways, it's good. A cleanser is always great uh, because I just use whatever cleansers are around or, and I always seem to get a ton out of these boxes. So I have lots to use up. Um, and this one's really nice. I do like the uh, ones that are a little more creamy. They just help with uh, getting all the makeup off and stuff, right? So. Uh, very good. Oh, I guess, you know what? Let's leave out the most amazing products here. And let's take them all out of the boxes so you can actually see the size of them and what they look like. Um, this is super cheap looking, but it did smell good, so. <laughs> um, oh my God, the cutest freaking box in the whole wide world. Do you see that? Oh gosh, I am not gonna be very good at this. So, uh, you know what? I'm focused, so I'm gonna hold it back here and then you can just like zoom in if you need to see it. Okay, I still got to figure out like lighting and all that kind of stuff, but it's going to take me a while. So this one is half caked and it's instant crush. Oh, it's lip gloss. Oh, it's the double. Yes. Okay, so there's the one that's just, uh, that one's just like, you know, silver iridescent. And um, I probably will just give that to my mom. It's called Crystal Baller. And she really likes that kind of, those kind of colors. Whereas I like these kind, and this one is called Mesmerize. This is really pretty. I already have got some stuff on, so it's not, you're not gonna be able to tell, but whatever. Oh, it's nice. I don't know if you can tell with my lips. I should try rubbing some of my lipstick off. Ah. 
Well, I am too far from the viewfinder, so I have no idea if, that, if you could even see anything on there. So it doesn't taste and it doesn't smell, but it is really nice. I really like that one. That might be my car lip gloss. I like uh, I like Nymphette. Nymphette from MAC. Oh my gosh, freaking love that one. Okay, well that box is really cute. Um, I don't need to keep boxes though, <laughs> as much as I really want to. I feel like there's extra stuff in here today. Oh, mascara XXL. Uh, so you can never go wrong with mascara, except you know what? I think I saw afterwards that this was waterproof. Let me just see. Um, 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 uh, no, it doesn't say it on there and it definitely would. So this is black velvet, black mascara. You can never go wrong with black mascara. And do you want to see what it looks like? Okay, let's see what it looks like. Oh yes, just like the box. Black mascara, I don't know where to hold it, so I'm just gonna dance it in front of me here, like that. Okay, so that is the mascara. And, oh, oh yeah, this one leaked. This is the pillow talk, but you know what, I think it only leaked a little bit, so I'm not gonna complain, because, oh yeah. Oh yeah, she's only down a tinge, see? Just a little, she's down right there. So, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, it's an oil, that's why. So let's, okay, it's an oil. I hope I like it. <laughs> oh, that is not for me. Uh, maybe once it like dries down a bit or something. Although it's an oil, so I don't think it like dries down a bit. It is a little, um, honestly, it's just a little alcoholy. Ingredients, alcohol to nat, and then fragrance, and then water, and then citronelle. Yeah, it just smells like... Ugh. It's... I don't know. It's not my thing at all. It's, um... It's not good. It's not good. No, I don't... And it's very light, too. Um, so this is the Ultra Repair Cream. Now, I think these were the pads, though. I don't think it was... Cream. It says that it's cream, but I'm... Intense hydration for the skin. Oh, I thought these were little... Maybe that's in the next. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> oh, yes, it's this cream. It's not the... Um, so I do have... I do have cream from this uh, fab... What is it called? Oh, my gosh. I just want to say the right word here. Okay, well, it's Ultra Repair Cream from Fab Beauty, First Aid Beauty, and uh, they do have another cream that I do like to use. Uh, this one looks really shiny. It's like very pearlescent, and I got it everywhere. But yeah, this one's super pearlescent, which is not, um, I don't know if you can see that on my hand, how shiny it is, but that is not my favorite look. Although, you know what that would look nice on is um, your legs in the summer over your fake tan. And I got it on my pants, which is fine. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely think that would be a really nice cream for your legs. It would make them look really shiny and healthy in the summer because that is not going on my face. So I do like that. I do actually think that's a win, but um, definitely just a summertime win uh, because I won't be showing these puppies until uh, the very last couple weeks of summer. That is for sure. So Ren, oh, Glow Daily Vitamin C Gel Cream. Okay, so this is a gel cream. It's a vitamin C, so it must have the um, stable form of vi vitamin C. Um, it also has that limonene and linalool, and that is not, that's a no-no for your skin. So I am not 100% sure that I, it says clean to skin. I don't know how they can claim that when there's that limonene and linalool in it. Um, and there's also... Oh, it just is 100% natural fragrance. So I would have to do some research on this before I put it on my skin. I'm a little bit picky, especially as I get older, because I work so hard on using uh, just stuff that actually works that uh, I don't want to use stuff that would work against it. So, okay, we are getting down there. I don't know if I'm doing a very good job reviewing all this stuff or not, but there you have it. <laughs> Um, this is, oh, a dual lip pencil. Yeah, I've been into, um, lining my lips just a little bit and, and then using lip gloss because I don't, I'm not super big on lipstick, but this is Starbreaker and Desert Plains. Oh, that was a fantastic noise. Uh-oh, our fire alarm's going off. 
Um, and I'm not down there cooking, so let's just see. Well, I'm just going to do it on my... Well, that is... She's dark. You know what? Actually, though, I think that I would use that as a eyeliner, probably. That is way too dark for my lips. But that's okay. I think for an eyeliner, it would work really well. Oh, the other side's great. Okay. I really would like you to see that. Let's see. I don't know. Can you see the colors? You can see how shiny that other stuff is. I don't know if you can see the colors there or not. Anyways, hopefully you got a peek of it. Um, so the one side, so this is Context. It's a dual lip pencil and the side Starbreaker was really nice. It's just a light, um, kind of like dusty rose. The other side is very like plum purple, but still like matte. So um, that might work for lots of you. Uh, that just is, that's a little too exciting for me. So, okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, I thought these were so cute. Um, they are spot patches. And I think they're like like iridescent, like little stars and stuff. So I'm hoping that my my kids will wear them around the house. Um, well, they're not they're not so little, but they're uh, teenagers, so they could definitely use them. Um, and I do find that the patches work really well. So let's just see here. Oh, I got a couple more things. Okay, okay, okay. This is give them Lala. Oh, I don't remember what this is. Give them Lala. <laughs> It's like, and it's black. Oh, black mascara. It says it right on the bottom. Okay, well, there you go. More black mascara in a white tube. <laughs> but I can never have enough mascara. So that's great. And, oh yes, I got one more. Oh, Wild Child. So this one is a perfume. Pin Rose. And it's a roller ball. Ooh, so maybe I can go over the pillow talk. I have to say, it dried down and I don't even smell it on me now. So... If you like a light scent or you're not really supposed to wear them at like the office or something, you could probably get away with that. Um, even though it doesn't, honestly, I can't even smell what it's on there. Ooh, ooh, that smells nice. It's not marshmallow, but I still like it. And it, oh, that one just smells like, oh, what does it smell like? It smells like flowers. Um, it's probably like a rose. Let's see. Uh, we have got, um, tiara, tiari flower, jasmine, and vanilla. I definitely didn't get vanilla, but I definitely get flowers. This is a really pretty perfume. I would definitely, I like the flowers. I like the gourmands and stuff. I probably the best, but I do like flowery perfume as well. As long as it doesn't smell like alcohol, I'm good with any kind of perfume. So yeah, so I didn't get my most amazing thing and that is being shipped separately and I can't even remember what the heck it is. So that's going to tell you how excited I am uh, to get it. Let's just see if it's in this little um, booklet that they have here. To be honest, I don't know what I chose and I don't remember what it is. Oh, you know what? I actually think <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea what I picked. So anyways, it'll be a surprise when it comes in the mail. So that's fun. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, bye.